The biggest construction machines in the world help build the largest buildings, bridges, and structures. Here are the top 15 biggest construction machines ever made. Number 15, Big Carl. If you're building one of the biggest structures in the world, then you're going to need one of the biggest cranes in the world to lift the pieces into place. That's exactly what the project management behind the newest nuclear power plant in the UK arranged. Known as Big Carl, the crane was transported to the site from Belgium and is so big that it required 250 trucks to do so. Officially known as the SGS 250, which stands for the Sarin's Giant Crane 250, it required the laying of 3.73 miles worth of rails for it to move across. On this project, the crane will be responsible for lifting more than 600 prefabricated components with the ability to hold as much as 3,000 tons at any one time to heights of up to 820 feet. To enable it to do this, it's supported by 52 counterweight containers, each of which weighs 100 tons, and it's powered by 12 motors, including redundancies to ensure it's still operational if any of them fail. Big Carl is therefore ideal for use on buildings such as nuclear plants where heavy and complicated pieces of machinery have to be carefully placed into position. And with increasing number of projects like these being commissioned around the world, the chances are we'll see a lot more giant cranes like it. Number 14, Belaz 75710 Dump Truck. Every construction project creates waste material that has to be transported away, but sometimes a fleet of dump trucks simply isn't enough. Often used at mines for mega constructions, the Belaz 75710 Dump Truck is the biggest vehicle like this in the world and can haul huge weights of up to 500 tons. The vehicle itself weighs 500 tons as well and is 67 feet and 7 inches long and just under 27 feet tall and just over 32 feet wide. It's powered by two V16 diesel engines and while it has a traditional four axle design, it has two huge tires on each one. The 74710 has four wheel hydraulic steering with a turning radius of 66 feet but perhaps most impressive is the fact that, when fully loaded, it's able to accelerate to a top speed of between 25 and 40 miles per hour, depending on the gradient. Number 13. Komatsu P&H L2350 Loader The Komatsu P&H L2350 Loader holds the current world record for the biggest earth mover, and it's designed to lift and deposit material on haul trucks. This is mainly useful in mining operation where there's a lot of debris to move out of the way before reaching the valuable deposits. But it's also a vital function on large-scale construction projects, and the power that the L2350 offers is second to none. With a 16-cylinder, 65-liter turbocharged after-cooled engine, it can hydraulically lift a payload of up to 80 tons with a reach of 11.5 feet and a maximum lift height of 24 feet. The operational weight of the vehicle is a massive 260 tons. And to support this weight, it uses 70 SRG DT tires that have 13 foot diameter and a width of almost six feet. Number 12, the Super Maxi Agitator. No modern day construction project would be complete without a concrete mixer. And while it's possible to make it on site, many projects find it easier to transport pre-mixed concrete that's ready to use. This can often involve convoys of trucks to deliver the large quantity that's needed. But there's one vehicle called the Super Maxi Agitator that's on a whole different level. A normal concrete truck will hold around 250 cubic feet, but the Super Maxi Agitator has a capacity of more than 400 cubic feet, which is enough to build an entire two-car garage. Currently, the only company in the world that uses one of these is based in Australia, and there are questions around whether this is actually a more efficient way to transport concrete, or whether it has more use as a promotional tool. Either way, it's an impressive vehicle, and shows how the desire for large buildings, but increasingly congested routes to access construction sites, has forced companies to find ways to transport more at once. Number 11. Deep Impact Roller one of the problems on construction sites is that the ground can be too soft to provide a stable foundation, so the solution to this is to use a roller that's used to compress it. A wide range of vehicles are available depending on the size of the area that needs to be compacted, but on the largest sites, a deep impact roller is needed. Made by BOMAG, these machines have a 28-ton polygonal drum roller that can be used to compact ground up to 13 feet deep. To do this, it rolls and vibrates with the precise frequencies being controlled by computer to ensure it does the job as effectively and efficiently as possible. The ground strength is continually monitored to provide feedback to operators, and this prevents going over the same ground twice. This data can also be used to prove that the ground is stronger after used, 
and structural engineers can take it into account to be certain that the structure being built on top of it will be safe. Number 10. The Tiger Stone While most roads are made by laying tarmac, there's a desire in some places to have a surface that's more appealing to look at, with one of the most popular designs being made up of interlocked bricks. The problem with this is, however, that it can be extremely time-consuming to lay every one of these bricks down by hand. So a Dutch company invented a solution, the Tiger Stone. It requires three operators to work on it at a time, and their role responsibility is to load the machine with loose bricks. The machine then rolls backwards and lays them down in a predetermined pattern onto the road, and a steamroller secures them in place. Amazingly, the Tiger Stone can be used to pave roads between 3 and 20 feet wide and is capable of covering an area of almost 3,300 square feet in a day. Furthermore, it's fully electrically powered, so it doesn't make as much noise as other construction equipment, so it causes far less disruption in urban environments, and with few moving parts, it needs very little maintenance. Number 9. The Manitou MHT-X 143-50 a telehandler is a machine that's somewhere in the middle between a crane and a forklift truck. They're used across a wide range of industries, such as agriculture, mining, and construction. With a telescopic boom, they're able to lift loads to awkward heights and angles, and the biggest of them all is called the Manitou MHTX 14350. Built by the South African company with the needs of construction in their home country in mind, the vehicle has a 46-foot-long turret, upon which it's able to lift weights of up to 35 tons. It's not just a lifter, either, and can be reconfigured with different tools on the end of the arm, such as a conveyor belt wheels, cages, winches, wheel motors, and granite blocks. The boom can rotate up to 180 degrees, and everything can be controlled from either within the cab or remotely up to 65 feet away, something that gives workers the flexibility to perform virtually any task they need. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Aztec Underground 1860 HD Chain Trencher As well as needing to prepare the foundations for the construction of huge buildings, workers also need to ensure the structure will be supplied with water, power, and communications. Usually, these cables and pipes will be installed underground but the channel needed to bury them are usually too narrow to be worth using a normal digger. Instead, a chain trencher is used, which is essentially a huge chainsaw designed for use on the ground. These machines are always surprising by how big they are, but the current record holder in terms of size is the Aztec Underground 1960 HD. Amazingly, its chain is 35 feet long, and to power something like this requires two Caterpillar diesel engines that combined produce 1,500 horsepower. It can dig straight into the bedrock to a depth of up to 30 feet and is covered in carbide cutting teeth that are arranged in a chevron pattern that allows it to tear away at the rock and remove it in manageable pieces that can then be taken away. The only purpose of this machine is to build trenches, and it's something that it does far better than any other piece of equipment you can buy. Number 7. Tiger Cat 726G the majority of construction projects happen on reused land or in sustainable places where as little impact on the environment is caused as possible. But sometimes it's impossible to avoid having to clear large areas of forest, and to do so, you need a machine that's specifically designed for the job. The Tiger Cat 726G is, according to the company, the world's largest drive to tree feller buncher and is designed to operate through tricky terrain and deal with the largest of trees. With an extra long wheelbase and a 308 horsepower engine, the 726G is able to stand steady wherever needed and clear trees with ruthless efficiency. It cuts trunks to a manageable size and collects them with its claw so they can be removed and taken away, and can, in theory, clear an acre within a matter of days. Thankfully, though, TigerCat has ensured that this machine has green credentials and have built it to emit very few emissions, presumably to help sustain the trees that are actually left behind. Number 6. Komatsu D575A3 Superdozer The enormous Komatsu D575A3 Superdozer is the biggest model of bulldozer in the world, and while it's mainly used in mining operations, it's also brought in to support mega construction projects. At 38 feet and 5 inches long, and 24 feet 3 inches wide, the dozer itself can weigh up to 168 tons, depending on its configuration, and that's before it's picked up a load. 
Made by the Japanese company Komatsu Limited, the Super Dozer is capable of moving as much as 125 cubic yards of material in each pass and can dig to a maximum depth of 6 feet 9 inches. It's powered by a 12-cylinder four-stroke diesel engine, which produces up to 1150 horsepower, and its cutting blade is just under 12 feet high, 24 feet wide. So huge is this vehicle that it can only be used on its specific worksite and cannot drive on roads to a new location. To move it, it has to be disassembled and requires eight trucks to transport it. Number 5. Osiris RH400 Hydraulic Shovel The Osiris RH400 holds the current world record for being the biggest hydraulic excavator, and the amount of material it's able to move is almost unbelievable. It's a front shovel excavator and weighs in at an astonishing 980 tons. With a width of up to 28 feet and a length of 36 feet, the majority of this bulk is made up by its powerful shovel. Powered by two 16-cylinder turbocharged engines, it's capable of lifting 60 cubic yards of material from the ground with each scoop and can dig as deep as 8 feet. It can, however, reach its cutting tool as high as 62 feet and deposit loads virtually anywhere needed. But with a maximum speed of 1.37 miles per hour, trucks need to drive to it instead of the other way around. There are, of course, very few jobs that require the expense and effort it takes to set one of these up, but for those that do, there's nothing as powerful and effective as what the RH400 offers. Number 4. The Hitachi Zosen Tunnel Borer The Hitachi Zosen Tunnel Borer, often known as Big Bertha, was by far the biggest tunnel boring machine ever built and was constructed specifically for one project that was being undertaken in Seattle. Following the deterioration of a major arterial road through the city, the Alaskan Way Viaduct, the decision was made to build a replacement, but the only option to do this was by digging a tunnel beneath the ground. And so large was the volume of traffic that it would be using it, the tunnel needed to be able to accommodate a double-decker highway. No machine in the world was capable of doing this, so the first stage of the project involved designing Big Bertha and having it built in Japan. It was then shipped over to Seattle where it was assembled on site and was ready to start digging in 2013. Bespoke machines like this always come with challenges. And there were several lengthy delays in the completion of the tunnel, but it finally finished the job in April of 2017 when the new highway opened two years later. Big Bertha was an enormous machine measuring 326 feet long and had a cutting diameter of 57 and a half feet. The entire thing weighed 6,700 tons and cost $80 million to build and was an astonishing feat of engineering. But once it had finished with its task, it was disassembled and scrapped, since no other project in the world required a tunnel anywhere near the size of what it creates. Number 3. Liebherr LB44 Whether you're installing pipes to reach underground resources or need to install supports for tall buildings, a drilling rig is needed to carve out the hole that you need, and one of the largest available is the Liebherr LB44. It's designed to dig to a depth of 310 feet and can carve a maximum diameter of 10 feet. It's actually surprisingly compact in design for the power that it generates, but with a height of 101 feet, a maximum operating weight of 170 tons, and a maximum torque of just over 376 pounds per foot, it's by no means small. The manufacturers have ensured that there's very little downtime with the LB44, and the reliable diesel engine along with the specially designed hydraulics and rotary drive means that it can be operated virtually 24-7. It can also be adapted with a range of different tools that allow it to tackle most rock types it'll encounter, and can be used for Kelly drilling, continuous flight auger drilling, full displacement drilling, or double rotary drilling, all of which create different types of holes through different methods that are suited to various needs. Number 2. Vogel Super 3002 Have you ever been driving along a highway and seen workers constructing a new section very slowly? There's only a limited amount of asphalt that can be laid down at any one time by each person or the typical machines that are used, but there is a machine that can get the job done far quicker. Called the Vogel Super 3002, it's a German design and incredibly efficient. With this machine, it's possible to lay asphalt that's 19 inches thick and up to 50 feet wide in a single pass, and it can place up to 1,600 tons per hour. It can pave an 80-foot stretch each minute and doesn't just work with asphalt, it can also be loaded with gravel, concrete, or any other construction material. Despite this speed and wide cover, quality isn't compromised in the slightest. In fact, the way it can lay the equivalent of a four-lane highway in one go means that the resulting road is much smoother and much more level than it had been constructed by several machines. 
It also has been engineered to be surprisingly reliable, which means that soon these might be commonplace on all the large infrastructure projects around the world. Number 1. Indeco HP 25000 We've all seen workers on a construction site using jackhammers to break through concrete and other hard objects. Probably wanted to have a go on one ourselves, but the largest machine like this in the world is on a whole different level, and is so heavy that it can't be operated by a person and has to be fixed onto a digger. Known as the HP 25000, this hydraulic breaker is 10.1 feet tall and weighs just over 12 tons. The chisel that does the work is 10 inches in diameter, and despite its size, is able to strike up to 460 times per minute. This means that it tears through even the toughest of rocks. But there's further technology to ensure this is done as efficiently as possible. The automatic power and speed system adjusts the breaker's performance based on the feedback it detects from the material it's breaking through, and with the anti-blank firing system ensures the tool is always in contact with the material before striking it, to prevent so-called dry firing. As you can imagine, a tool that's this size and used for such roles has to be heavily reinforced to withstand the extreme stresses that it's subjected to, so a new type of housing had to be created for it. Due to its size, weight, and power, the HP 25000 has much better hydraulic efficiency than any other breaker, which means its output is far greater in comparison to its input, but of course, with such a huge running cost, it's only worth using one of these on the largest projects. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.